Hi, it's Michelle from Movement Lesson, and I wanted to discuss with you there's five warning signs of what parents should look for if their child needs help with vision. When your child has problems with vision, right? Most people think vision is always about glasses or not having glasses. That's not always the case. And when your child's young and needs vision, some munchkins need help or as early as four to five months, right? Some it comes a little bit later, but they don't have the skills, especially at that age, to say, hey, I'm having trouble seeing you, mom. We have head tilt. So if you're starting to see a head tilt or, or a head control issue, lots of times babies are really trying to figure out what you're trying to do or what they're trying to see and their head is all over the place and it looks like they might be floppy, low tone and have head control issues when really it's control for their vision. You might see a side preference, right? A side preference is when they, they are starting to do an eye dominant to look at you a certain way um, through the side versus straight on. But you also might see a side preference due to the direction of their eyes. What's known as lazy eye, where you might see an eye turn in or an eye go out, right? And, and those happen. You might be told that it's quite common, but that doesn't mean you should be not looking at ways to help your child, but making sure they have a good eye examination done by a pediatric ophthalmologist. They might be squinting, right? They might be really purposely squint, squinting as trying to see, but at the same time too, they might be almost backing off. Remember, you're trying to focus, let's say if I was looking at an object, right, and I'm trying to focus, right, I might squint if it's up close or far away, but what your child might be doing is actually moving their head far away. So you might see, see things that they can't sit down, they fall over, they can't do independent sitting. It might not be because they have poor balance, it actually could be they're actually moving their head back so they can see better and they fall down. Squinting can go in different directions when your child is young enough versus just that overall trying to see the blackboard from when they're a little bit older. They might have a short attention span, especially for babies and infants. Their whole reason for being is because they want to go after that ball. They want to go after your face. They want to go after a stimuli, a sound or a visual, right? But out of sight, out of mind. If they do not see the ball or they see the ball and then it disappears, what looks like that they're not paying attention, short attention span, even signs of autism and ADD, early warning signs, actually might be a sign that your child actually has a bit of a visual impairment and they only are maybe nearsighted but they can't see long, far away, or vice versa, they can see far away and not short. What that also might look like is you might say, oh, I walk across the room, my child can track me or see me. It might be directionality or they're, it's auditory, they're listening to you snap or call out or whistle to them, but that doesn't mean they're seeing you. If they're clumsy or poor eye-hand coordination, those skills start very early on in life. The whole objective for doing your developmental milestones from rolling over to coming to sitting is because they see something and they want to grab it and all of a sudden it's like oh they're on their belly or they're coming to sitting. Milestones are based off of visual attention and when the vision is not there you might find that they they stay in the same place or they're just again their spatial awareness is off their depth perception. Their depth perception might seem like this when it really is only here because of poor eyesight. These are five things that people are warning signs but what parents truly miss in their child's vision and even professionals miss. They might just put up a ball or something like that and they go, uh, uh, somebody might say they see just fine but really by, by, by eight months to a year your child is really starting to look at an object 360 degrees versus you know and then dropping it out of sight. If you have any questions whatsoever, go see your pediatric ophthalmologist or optometrist, right? Eating a different doctor might be awesome in their field, but when you have concerns for the eyes, especially if your child has any type of neuromuscular condition, if they're showing any signs of being stiff or floppy, eyes are muscles. 
just make sure, just get them checked. It's a routine eye examination, but start getting the baseline for getting more information on your child's structure of your eyes and how they are seeing, because that affects how they are thinking and learning.